What up, y'all? This is your boy, Sherry Speaks, man. My boy, Daquan Wilshire, D leader of the DSG, really posted something that really resonated with me. Now, if y'all haven't heard about the whole John Morant situation, well, he's done it yet again. He's flashed a gun on IG Live, and I'm pretty sure the Grizzlies are going to suspend him for half the next season without pay. Now, if you guys aren't privy to what happened the first time, he did that, except he was he issued an apology you know, slap on the wrist, but yet again, just currently, just recently, he just did it young once again with one of his homies. Now, I'm not privy to, obviously, none of us are privy to what John Morant's, you know, personal life was like, but this is what Daquan had to say, and I just wanted to share this video because it's something I resonate with, and I fuck with Daquan. Well, sorry, a lot of his videos got me through my life, you know, and continue to do so to this day, man. Thank you for your, your contribution to my uplifting, you know, my self-esteem in my life. And, you know, helping me, you know, assisting me in my growth. You know what I'm saying, bro? And shout out to the Chisel to Dynas as well. He's down in the comment section of this uh, very thread. So he, Daquan goes on to say, and I quote, and I 100% agree with what he's saying as well, mind you. John Morant can post a video of him at the gun range shooting legal firearms and wouldn't go viral, nor be condemned or, rep or reprimanded. Because this is normal and safe. I say. Instead... He keeps wanting to wave guns in front of cameras. And I apologize for the noise outside. It's just some handyman. Um, in front of cameras to portray an image, he does not have to. That's the issue here. Legal or not, <laughs> we all know the exact reason he's waving these guns around. You see street rappers exhibiting this same behavior. They do it because their image revolves. And this is a major thing right here. They do it because their image revolves around the street life which is acceptable in the music industry. It's not in the NBA. His friend is not to blame. Ja not only saw the friend on IG Live, but looked directly into the camera before waving the gun around for the second time on camera. As if he hasn't, I'm sorry, as if he wasn't just reprimanded for, the, for this only but a few months ago. And it's crazy to think it's only been a few months. With $200 million on the line, you'd think he'd learn from this mistake. Yet he'd rather put an image before an opportunity of a lifetime. Whatever consequences he faces, he brought on himself. Ashe. There are people in this world who wouldn't risk their minimum wage, their minimum wage job, let alone a $200 million contract, just for an image. And he's 100% correct on that. End quote. I wouldn't do that myself. And you know, job, if you ever see this video... This is not me taking a swipe at you, bro. This is just me being real with you. Be as your brother, I'm going to say this. You know, may you learn from this situation and these experiences and not, you know, you know, repeat them. And take into account the gratitude of the situation and the situ you know, in the position that you're in, the opportunity that you have is what I mean by gratitude. You know, be gracious for it. You know, don't take it for granted. You know, because you have the ability right now with that 200 a million dollars contract, $200 million contract, if not plus, to really sustain and put your family for generations upon a upon their own island or a peninsula or mountaintop of wealth, generational wealth, and so on. You can sustain that. You can provide that. Just don't repeat any dubious mistakes, man, you're there. You know, leave this shit alone. I understand, you know, you can kick it with your homie or whatever. But even then, you know, be wise enough to, you know, just be like, nah, put yourself first because that friend's not going to put you first. At least I, that's not at least that's what I would uh, think, given the situation. If, I, if, I'm, if I'm your homie and I know you got you just got off the bench, you know, your paper just was a little stifled. I wouldn't put you in a predicament you know, or a situation where that could be taken away from you again, if not permanently. You know, so Ja, straighten up, bro. I got you. Much love to you. You know, appreciate and have, you know, gratitude for, you know, the opportunity that you have. $200 million can save an entire family for generations, man, if handled properly and appropriately. So, you know, just do right by yourself, man. You know what y'all think in the comments section below, too, man. Do y'all think John Morant's going to learn from this situation? Let your boy know in the comments section below, man. I'm out. Love y'all.